deal with the other thing. I mean, I can understand her abandoning you. Wow. Last time was the She got in touch through the Laundrette's PA system, didn't she? Maybe we get the electricity back on. She can communicate with us like that again. Right. In other news, I managed Let's to take. Hang on. With a little bit of jiggery pokery, I should be able to. Ah, there we go. I'm on the telly. Hello. Right. Where was I? I'm the doctor. Just probably not the one you were expecting. You're the doctor. Oh, yes. You don't sound anything like the doctor. Well, I must do a bit. No, mm, teeny bit. Mm, nothing like that. In fact, I read her. Oh. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to see River's face. She'll be obsessed with it. Sorry, sorry, easily distracted. Did our doctor send you here? A, nobody sends me anywhere. Two, I'm here because of the time glitches sending everything all timey, wimey, lemon and lime. And, small eye, small eye, small eye, a friend of mine gave me a tip off about a million years from now. Or was it last week? Anyway, the point is, I need your help. We'd love to muck in, Doctor, but we're trying to work out where our Doctor is. And then there's the little matter of us having to save reality. Sounds fun. Well, I say fun. I'm guessing it's slightly stressful. Well, I say slightly. Doctor! Uh, uh, that easily distracted thing? Yeah. Happening again. Do you know where she is? No, but I know what's waiting for you out there. How do you know what's going on when you're from the past? Like I said, I've got a friend. A friend from the future who's telling me what you need to know. Can't reveal too much, otherwise I'll break the Blinovich paradox and I could destabilise the universe again. Right. I'm not sure I follow you. Yeah, but, oh, it's a fancy way of saying I can't give you too many spoilers. But the thing you know as the reality virus has been modified by some old friends of mine. Who's in control of it now? The Cybermen. So the time glitches the virus causes are going to get more extreme. In your reality, where you are right now, the Cybermen have already conquered Earth. That's done. Nothing can change that. You've got to find out what their next move is, because it's going to be big. And you're going to have to stop it. How can we stop the Cybermen? Not going to lie, it's a big ask. But somewhere out there in the junkyard, there's the head of a decapitated Cyberman. Find it. Any reason? Or shouldn't I ask? It should reveal what the Cybermen are planning. Then you have to find the Doctor and... And that's it. That's all I can tell you. Sorry. Sorry. You're on your own from this point. You can't just leave us. Hmm. Uh, well, you kind of can. Kind of have to. But if it's any consolation, I have a funny feeling we'll meet again. Look, right now, I've got planets to save. And you've got to stop the universe conking out. So what are we all waiting for? Allons-y! Okay, let's go and find that cyber scarf. Oh, a scarf. All right, let's find that cyber skull. Try it on the door now. Oh, good, it can open doors now. That's one hell of an upgrade. Well, I mean, I might put that on the dating profile, actually. Rogue element. All right then, this way. I've done a quick scan, and it looks like the cyber skull is on the other side of the junkyard. Cyber skull. I like that. That is pretty damn cool. Cyber skull. It's both cool and lame at the same time. I legitimately like it. Give it a quick blast with the sonic screwdriver. Oh. I have my own handle. Cyber unit is equipped with gamma level security point two. Planet Earth has been reconfigured. It is now assigned to the new Cyber Empire. Humanity oh, will a new be one. upgraded. Point three. The reality virus has been reformatted using superior Mondasian technology. Point four. Gamma level security includes a notification protocol. Your presence has been detected and reported to the nearest cybership. You Point graph. five. You will be deleted. I have my own handles. Cybership. 
Well, we've really got their attention now. Looks like the TARDIS is on the side. It can replace ship, Emma. And they got it up there using some sort of transmat system. The TARDIS is on the other ship. It's a knocking bet the doctor's up there too. Get to the base of the cyber team. I can operate the transmat device to get us on board. We've just got to hold them for a few more seconds whilst I trigger the transfer. I've done it! Okay. it. We're about to transmat ourselves out of it. Oh, that one just had a stroke, so we're okay. The reality virus must have done its thing, and... Yeah, I think it's a cyber warship. Have a poke around, whilst I try to hack into its systems. I've had a nose around the ship's data banks, and it's good news, bad news time. Bad news is, this ship is en route to Telos. The Cybermen are looking to revive their frozen armies hidden away there, so the extra soldiers can take advantage of the chaos caused by their reality virus. But the good news is, I've detected an individual with two parts. Gotta be the Doctor. Let's find her. But be careful. This place is crawling with Cybermen and their nasty little pets, the Cybermats. There are cameras in the corridors, so there must be a security feed we can hack into. Cybermat. Locate and delete. You will be deleted. Oh, hello. You are a rogue pilot. Yes, I am. Alright then, which way do we go? Uh, take a leap of faith, assume it's right. You should have listened to that episode, it's turn left. Um. Ah, dickhead. Cybermen are up to. Looks like we can take control of Hello, the Cybermen. Hello, Mr. Cyberman. <laughs> Dead. Just a colleague being murdered, nothing unusual, nothing out of the ordinary. Proceed to stomp around some more. <laughs> Good out. Face is a rogue element. Cyber Reaper, a hunter, a legend. It can't be. They were just ghost stories. Legends. We've already seen the Cyber Reaper a handful of times. That the Cyber Reaper was born at the end of the last great cyber war. What is it doing here? It must be the reality virus. with two hearts below us. Take the elevator down. Look, 
Another hmm? control panel. Fucking sweet. Wow. Oh, there. Trick or treat, bitch. Oh, I guess it's broken. All right then, let's go. The first one has like 10 different screens attached to it and all the other ones don't. It's really weird. Hey, good to see you again. By which I really mean, terrible to see you again. No offense. You see, I almost had it. Oh, thank you, as we used to say. Oh, I snuck in here using the vortex manipulator I rigged up. It burnt out, but those things are cheaped out at the best of times. Anyway, then I sealed off the cell because I created a telepathic link with the Siberian. And let me tell you, that's not easy. You think getting through to a dentist on a Sunday morning is tricky? Walk in the park compared to establishing a dialogue with that thing. I mean, I've made it sound more trivial than it is through a poor choice of words. And what exactly is that thing? The Siberian. Kind of like a repository of all cyber knowledge and history. It thought it was interrogating me, but I was unlocking it. So, what's the plan? Why does everyone always assume I've got a plan? I don't even know what I'm having for lunch yet. Looks like it's opened by a handprint, not just any old hand. We need one that's limited to two fingers and a thumb. Maybe we can find some spare parts if there's some sort of conversion room. Hmm. Well, let's poke around. Conversion room. Oh yeah, we're on a different floor now, so... I assume it's about the way we came. What did I do? Alright, come over here then. Ah, uh, idiot. Oh, rogue element. Right then, through this way. Where's this conversion room? Alright, time for some revenge. <laughs> you fool. What, is that it? That's all I get? Those people being cybertized. Weird. Different iterations of Cybermen are being created. It must be experimental. Let's go. this thing that I mean? Oh, it's just laid out on this table. Brilliant. I reckon we can use this to unlock the doctor's cell. Thanks, Emma. Fuck off.
Is that an alarm? I just developed a really bad headache. Good. Let's implement the standard operating procedure for whenever you hear an alarm. Hit the snooze button. Okay. This just in. This ship is no longer a ship. It's been redesignated. We're close to the fourth Cyber Legion now. So most of the Cybermen on board this ship can just transmat over to the main fleet, which is faster, more efficient. Gamma level security. The Cybermen know I've escaped from the cell, so they've initiated the self-destruct protocol. Huh, makes sense. When is a ship not a ship? When it's a bomb. Just to get rid of me. That's them off my Christmas card list. Right, we've got to get out of here fast. Well, fast-ish. I've got to get back in there and finish interrogating the Siberium. Find out what the Cybermen's endgame is. And you have to destroy the ship's force field so I can pull the TARDIS in. And then we can all escape. I seem to spend half my life escaping. I'm so jealous of people who just leave. Actually, it's probably a bit boring. Right, what are you waiting for? Uh, we're waiting for the slightest clue about how we take out the force field. Emma, sending you the coordinates of the unit you need to deactivate. Once you've done that, it should be easy to grab the TARDIS. I parked it fairly near. All right then, let's do it. Oh, I didn't see these before. I guess I didn't get all the stuff for the mighty microscope. Or did I? Maybe I just forgot that Straight I had on. it. I don't know. Right here. I mean, I know where I'm going, you idiot. Left that here. fucking whirly thing there. That thing. That's what I need. Hopefully it's kind of blind and doesn't notice me. All systems, but at least I memorized the deck names. I'll guide you to the bridge. Straight on. Oh Christ. Turn right. As opposed to what? Left here. You need to get to the top floor. Take that elevator up. That elevator, there's like six. So why didn't you just say go back the way you came, you idiot? Please, keep going. Oh. Hey, Opa, I could get cancer or something. You doing that? Too early to call you that? 
Much too early. Nice work disabling the force field. Meant I could use the Cybermen's transport to get on board and materialize around you. I should have mentioned that part of the plan. Sorry, short on time. Did you get anywhere with the Siberian? I did. The Cybermen have upgraded the first's reality virus. Why would they want the chaos that will bring? I thought the Cybermen were all about logic and order. Yeah, at any cost. They believe the chaos their virus unleashes will make planets super vulnerable to mass cyber invasion. Okay, so they're betting that societies right across the galaxies will be in no state to resist their armies. It's more than that. They think that with reality unraveling, people will actually want to be upgraded. That entire species will welcome cyber conversion to help restore universal order. They're not short on confidence, are they? Sweet. Which may prove costly for them. Their version of the reality virus is more powerful than the first. But that's because it's not organic. It needs a power source. So we just need to find it and destroy it? Them. There are three transmitters hidden in three different locations. We need to find them all. We disable those transmitters and this whole nightmare ends. Okay, we're about to emerge from the time vortex. Let's see what's left of the universe. Probably not much. Looks like Mars, 22nd century. Something's off, though. Ah. Cybermen, Daleks, Weeping Angels, Tasma, Cybermats, the first, and the Cyber Reaper. You didn't think I was going to sit this one out, did you? I Seriously? Hope not. I'll all see. Oh, looks like the Doctor knows where he's going. So does the Cyber Reaper. Don't forget, we need to track down and destroy the force field units so the Doctor can get the You have to admit, the human characters in there look kind of dodgy. Like the outfits are fine, but the faces are kind of. Uh. uh. Was that giant statue facing this Kind of a shame ago? as well that the 10th and 13th Doctors don't really interact. I kind of would have liked that, but it never really happens in the game. Yeah, I get the idea, Mr. Cyber Reaper. You gotta catch me first, though. So. Slacker. Oh god. Ah! I got frozen in place. Wow. The time space continuum packs quite a punch. Oh, it didn't even kill me. Into another weak spot in reality. The next transmitter must be near. Allons-y! Right oh, please the say that like a thousand more times. That would be so good. I totally don't hate that little quip now. Oh, you've just realised. Wow, nothing gets past you, eventually. What? Ah. Where's the doctor? Oh, We're on not the now. good doctor, damn it. Pooh. Oh well. Oh my! Oh Taxi. Up above. See if you can get on that trunk of pillar. Oh 
Ah. Can you jump onto that curve, please? This is our chance. Use the sonic to take out the power source of the reality virus. Ah. Is unraveling causality, not a sentence I thought I'd be saying today. Oh no, even the laws of physics are breaking down. Good, this sucks anyway. Great, my vertigo is kicking in big time. Oh, at Steady. least there's some good news. All right, then up here. Is there a third option? Right, now I'm stuck and everybody's gone to the rapture. Some of these Except it somehow unstable. makes less sense. Watch your footing. Well, this is just weird. Dude, do you understand that no means no? You should rename yourself to Cyber James. Right. Please, have you played LSD Dream Emulator? This shit's a walk in the park compared to that. Oh really? Damn. I didn't know that's what you were after. The doctor's here. Don't try anything, or it will kill you. The Cyber Reaper. At last, the ultimate warrior. Pitiless. Relentless. Devastating. Not as tall as you look on telly. Go on then. Let's have it. The bit where you lay it on thick. I like the food fight protein. animation. You know it's weird. For a race that's got no emotion, it feels like you lot love rubbing it in when you think you've got the upper hand. All that you will be deleted stuff. Why don't you ever just crack on with it? We understand the value of fear. To humans? To Cybermen. After all these years, after all these battles, after all these defeats, for you that is, not me. You still don't get it. Emotions aren't how we live, they're why we live. After all these years, after all these battles, after all the losses of loved ones, for you, not us, you do not understand. Understand what? Your lack of emotion is your greatest strength, Doctor. That single fact is why I recognized the value of upgrading. To what? To you. No. You are the ultimate warrior. Pitiless. Relentless. Devastating. Is that what you think? You reconfigure your friends. Strip away their safety. And harvest their strengths. You upgrade them to soldiers. You have one goal. Victory. And your reluctance to acknowledge the rights of your enemies is... Is what exactly? Logical. You will break the transmitter to destroy our virus. Yeah. Natural reality will snap back into place and order will be restored. Job done. You would eradicate the new realities created by the virus? Where are you going with this? You must choose victory or kindness. You must decide whether you have a warrior's heart. Or? A compassionate heart. In one reality, you encountered a human known as Renette. 
Madame de Pompadour. Yes. You felt love for this human. Love is not a weakness. And you lost her. But in this new reality, he stayed with her. They developed a family unit. They are kids. You are the ultimate warrior. Pitiless. Relentless. Devastating. Stop it. Stop this. Oh, crap. Taking two minutes to lash up a video recorder out of an astrolab and some psychic paper. Ooh. You're losing your touch, Doctor. Doctor. Huh. No one's called me the Doctor for years. And that's fine. I used to love it, though. Swaggering in somewhere. I'm the Doctor. This is Romana, Susan, Jamie, and Sarah. Radrick. No. Not all good memories. Sometimes, when I'm sitting with your mum, she asks me, where have you gone? And it'll be Scarlet, or Gallifrey, Unit HQ. But I just shrug today. Nowhere. I was just thinking about her. Because I know she feels guilty. Even though I've told her a million times that this little house with you lot in it means more to me than everything out there put together. Our home is so much bigger on the inside. Hmm? Anyway, I am leaving you this message in case anything happens to me. I want you to look after your mum. When you're old enough, she'll tell you stories of scary clockwork monsters who came to get her. The fireplace that could take you to the stars. Before it broke. And a man from another world who rode to her rescue on a big white horse. Ah. Now yeah, maybe she'll share the stories that I told her about people made of steel and cities made of song. Oh dear. I got very distracted though, and I thought that I was like, "Holy shit, that's that thing from Gridlock." Uh, oh, I guess I'm supposed to go this way, but you can apparently just crouch under the um, <laughs> under the bureau. She still thinks I regret losing all that, but she's so wrong. The truth is, I thought when I settled down with her that I was giving up the universe, but I was wrong. She was giving me the world. Don't let her forget that. Mm -hmm. She took her lonely angel and made him better. Maybe she should be called the Doctor. Let's face it, like I said, no one's called me the Doctor for years, and that's fine. Because... I prefer dad these days. Anyway. Oof. I've seen enough. In this reality, the doctor and his family live tiny lives. 
we are made happy by acts of irrelevance. You are on record as claiming, but for some people, small, beautiful events are what life is all about. You would destroy that, Doctor. For your victory. The Cyber Reaper. All these years, I've thought you had one purpose. To destroy the enemies of the Cybermen. But that's not quite it. Your one mission is to find those enemies. And nullify their threat. And you've done it. I can't make this choice. So you've got to. You're the Doctor now. Let's end this. It all depends on you now. One last transmitter. Run for it. Oh, that one for a choice, do I? Oh, fine then. Up I go. Oh, sorry, Tom, but... See ya, don't lie. Come in. I just wanted to thank Come you. Come in and for, know me you know, better, man. Saving the universe. After you zapped the final transmitter, the virus was destroyed and reality reasserted itself. For better or for worse. Hey, you're probably wondering where Emma is. Emma, can you hear us okay? Loud and clear, Doctor. Loving your old TARDIS. What is it with you and Hexang's decorations? How's the new body? Amazing! Give us a tick. I kept my word. Downloaded Emma into a synthetic body so she can move about. Feel, taste, take part, do all the things we sometimes take for granted. The only problem was, after all the adventures she had gallivanting about with you, she wanted more of the same. So I took a few temple liberties and sent her back in time. Yeah, she's gonna go travelling with someone I think you know. Actually, Why couldn't she travel he can you? tell you himself. Left a message. I'll patch it through. Hello. Just wanted to say thanks. I understand you had a very difficult decision to make and you didn't shirk it. Good work, shirk. Come on, Doctor. Her ladyship won't tell me what the decision was about. But maybe I can guess. Hard sometimes, isn't it? Get a move on. Emma told me she's going to share some information, though, that I can pass on to you in the laundrette, all right? Anyway, better get going. Emma wants to find out what it's like to live, so... I promised I'd show her around the universe. And you know what? I really want to go. Fucking Emma. Ruining my moment with the doctor, bitch. We need to find a fucking way to pay her back. Maybe get my Sonic upgraded to a laser screwdriver. The TARDIS has brought us home. Recognize this place? Go on. Take a look. God. Back in this shithole again. A million years from now. Or was it last week? Reality itself was almost destroyed. It was saved by a hero, a mysterious traveller in time and space. Yeah, it was saved by you. Oh, that's really nice and all, but can I have some change for the washing machine? And that is all she wrote. So yeah, um, I personally think that was okay. I've heard people say it's terrible, and I kind of get... Depending on your tolerance for some things, what you'd make of it. I think it was okay for the most part. But, in all honesty, like, I think it could really do with a polish. 
But apart from that, yeah, I, I genuinely enjoyed this one. It's not perfect, but at least it's an actual game, which, honestly, I think there's only been, like, what, two of those? Also, I'd like an alternate ending, if, that, if that's doable. Ah, made with unity. I would say that explains some things, but... No, I've seen Unity games more stable than this. So anyway, that's uh, The Edge of Reality. Um, overall, I think it's okay. I think with a few patches, it could be made a lot better. I've noticed um, that there were a few like minor glitches that I don't think I got my set and play through, but maybe I just managed to avoid them. Um, but overall, yeah, I found the game to be okay, um, maybe with a bit of polish and the rework on some of the models, I think that this game could really be a lot better, but maybe that's just me. Anyway, toodles. Freaking a curious about